Hello YouTube, welcome to the, my videos, and today it's going to be a new episode for the Python project. Do you know what the Python project is? Go check out my intro video, it will explain everything, how, what videos I'm going to be posting and how it all works. There's an annotation on the screen for that now and a link in the description. Go check it out if you want to know how it's all going to be working. Okay, so let's get on with the episode. Today we're going to be learning about variables and also the Python text editor. So let's, let's more on variables later and let's learn about the Python text editor. The Python text editor is basically a window where you can write programs that are more than one line of code. The problem with doing one-liners like we've been doing so far is that you can't write really complex programs. All you can do is get it to execute one thing at a time, which is not very practical for the user. So that's where the Python text window comes in. To get this type of Python text window up, you either go File, New Window, or press down Control N. So let's do that, and I'll join you in the next bit. Okay, so here I am in the Python text editor. Let's just click on it and make it maximum so we can see everything better. This is where we're going to be learning about variables. Okay, so what is a variable? A variable is something that stores data. It can be either a number, a letter, a word, or a value that's either true or false. So those are all the types of variables you can get. So numbers, letters, words, or true or false values. Those are all types. Let's learn how to, we can put this into use. So let's go here. And what you do is you type, we need to give our variable a name. So type num. We're going to be doing numbers first. This can be whatever you like. It can be norm, nit, whatever you want. Num is what we're going to be using because it's easy to remember. So type num, then press space, then press equals, press space again, and this is where we're going to give what num is going to be equal to. So 45. Okay, so what's happening here is we're giving, okay, num, this is our new variable, and we're going to set num to be equal to 45. That's how it's made up of. Okay, so let's do another one. Letter char actually char so this is going to be a letter just char equals then open speech marks by pressing shift and two and then type a letter t this is a letter it has to be anything that's going to be text has to be stored in speech marks unless it's stored in speech marks it will throw an error okay same with same with the string okay so ones that are words are known as strings. The string is done exactly the same, just typing words in things. So that's a string. It's more than one letter in speech marks. String. Then we've got one more, which is known as a boolean. A boolean is a value that's either true or false. So just give another one. So might say might random thing come out of my head and then click equals then type true or false true. so that's a boolean it can be also false like that so that's a boolean let's pull this into action so let's now we're going to revise the print statement from our last video let's type print you should know this and then type your variable name outside don't need speech marks, just type the variable name. So let's type num. We'll see what it does in a minute. Then just do another one. Print char. And then print string. And then print might. Okay, so this is now going to print whatever is here. Whatever is after this equals sign. So let's see what happens. This is basically our first program. It's more than one line, so it's a program. Let's see what this does. Let's so click File, then Save As, and save it where you want, and type a name for it. Don't go ahead and press Enter. Type after the name of it, type dot, and then pi, P-Y. This note lets you know that this is going to be a Python file. Click Save As, and then click Run, and then Run Module. As you can see, it prints everything from in here. So, num, 
char, letter of false. Everything is in there. Okay. So that's basically variables, a quick introduction to variables. There'll be more on variables later. We'll be learning a lot more. So thanks for watching, guys. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. And also check out me on Twitter and my website. They'll all be in the description. So thanks again, and see you in the next episode.